Hello, my name is Taylor. I'm going to talk about what kind of business I would like to start up. I'm going to talk about the supply and demand, um, economic resources included when starting a business, comparative advantage. I'm also going to talk about the supply and demand that you also have to look at when starting a business. So I was considering starting up a home cleaning business. Um, it would just be myself until I was able to recruit more people or pay more people to come work for my company. We would offer deep clean services, um, which would include cleaning the vents, fans, baseboards, do a deep clean, deep bleach cleaning on the bathrooms, deep scrub on the floors, and even carpet cleaning. Um, it does include a lot of machinery, which I would prepare for by getting a bigger vehicle to hold all that machinery. We would also offer weekly cleanups or quick cleans. We would be domestic and residential cleaning company only, so we wouldn't work on commercial um, businesses or offices like that. Uh, so factors that would affect the supply and demand for our cleaning company or my cleaning company. Um, so for the demand is um, in today's society, the demand for home cleaning services is actually really huge. Um, while doing my research on a home cleaning business, I read an article. It states a website focused specifically on franchising businesses reports that the cleaning service industry is one of the fastest growing service industries in the United States, which I thought was very interesting and I think I would really excel in starting a home cleaning business since it's in such big demand. I feel like even during, t especially during times of COVID, I feel like a lot of people, even if they do just stay home, I feel like a lot of people don't really want to clean. Um, some things for reasons for the demand are lack of time or energy to clean, allergies, outsourcing to save money, specific spots that need attention, um, mean just keeping up with the cleanliness of the house, or even age. Um, the area that I live in, there are a lot of older people people and um, they do need help cleaning their houses now it's just too much for them that sometimes so it's definitely a benefit being in this area uh, so the supply part of it thinking about the supply um, I would have to consider it just being myself how much supply I would need how much time I would be spending or able to provide for one house and how many houses I'm able to clean in a day and in a week um, I also must consider how much I need to start up, how much money I need to start up the business. I need to buy, there's specific licenses you need sometimes for cleaning people's houses. Getting a liability insurance would be good in case anything were to break while you were cleaning. Um, all the cleaning supplies and um, like I stated earlier, a vehicle big enough to hold all the supplies would be not necessary but definitely appreciated and wanted um so some economic some economic resources that i would need to produce would be labor which would be myself i would have to pay myself but i'd also have to pay taxes on my business so that's just something i'd have to think about um, I do have to think about the capital, which is machinery and equipment, which would be the carpet cleaning machine, and it, it takes up a lot of space. It's kind of expensive. You have to think about all of the house cleaning supplies you would need, um, vacuums. You'd have to think about where you would want to get that. Sometimes businesses, other businesses will work with you, give you discounts if you use strictly their products. Um, you'd have to think about the marginal analysis and entrepreneurial, um, the secrecy of cleaning business would be turning down some clients because you don't have enough time available to be able to clean every house and you may not have the staff to do so either. It is extremely hard to get people to work right now in the times of the pandemic, um, so just not being able to provide enough pay or benefits to staff either, which is a huge thing. A lot of people got laid off because they don't have 
their managers or the owners of the companies don't have the money to be able to afford them. Uh, the opportunity cost you need to think about is the profit or starting up a different business, the time you could be spending on other things, the money you are spending and making off home cleaning versus the money you could be making by getting hired at a different company. Um, some economic indicators that I would be interesting, interested in learning more about and would affect my planning would be that marginal analysis interest of to charge, interest rate rate to charge um, home cleaning business, make sure I'm putting the money aside to be able to pay taxes. Um, I'd be interested in learning more about natural resources um, for cleaning. I know there's a lot of natural cleaning products, but um, just more of how to clean homes naturally, I guess. Um, so competitors, they have advantages as in they have many more employees. Some of them have many multiple employees to be able to go to different houses and clean multiple houses at once, have multiple people cleaning one house at once. Um, they have a built client list already. They have who they clean daily, weekly, monthly. They already have those set schedules for those people. Um, they have a built up supply. They have suppliers. Um, they do get discounts on those supplies. So they already have like their whole business set up. It's just organized and um, that's definitely an advantage they have, but I think a comparative advantage that I would have is I would be charging less because I'm only paying myself. I don't have a staff to pay, um, so my services would be cheaper. I have more time on my schedule to be able to spend on cleaning and making sure that I'm putting quality time into cleaning and getting all the details the customer asks for. I'm very detail-oriented, so I think that is a huge advantage. Um, also, I'm willing to travel as far as they need me to go uh, within the state. I'm not willing to travel out of the state for it, but um, yeah, so there's just, those are some comparative advantages. I think starting a home cleaning business would be great in the society right now. I think it would go off. I think it would be a great hit, and I think I could build a client list very easily. Uh, well, thank you.